Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 28, and this is war number 12, the final war of the season. And we're going up against an alliance that I know we have faced before, uh, Saturados. Uh, we're going to take a look. I am so late coming into this war. I forgot about it. Uh, I was grinding the arena. I'm trying to get the uh, five-star... Uh, Kitty Pride. So as you can see, middle's already cleared. Uh, I don't have anybody on that first node. I do have uh, Guardian there. Uh, shouldn't be a difficult fight. And uh, we've got another not difficult fight on this node. We'll take it with Claire. Um, also have this Nightcrawler. He can be annoying, but uh, we know how to fight him. So he's not going to be too much of a problem unless the AI acts up then we'll see uh, mini boss island uh, we've got Iron Man Infinity War um, he's on a rage node Claire can probably take that fight Mr. Negative I hate fighting um, but Claire Warlock uh, Nick Fury can take it now that Mangog is a human torch that would be the best i think for uh that fight and already we've got the uh right side already cleared all right so i'm gonna get out of your way here and start doing some fighting all right so for this final war of the season i'm going in with my standard attack team nick fury black widow clairvoyant and warlock now, to be honest, I forgot about this war until almost the last minute. One of my alliance mates uh, sent a message saying, don't forget alliance war because he knows I usually go in pretty early. And here it is really, really late. And I don't do a lot of fighting in this one. Uh, as you saw, there was no uh, defender on that first node. And here's the first fight that I'm taking. Uh, it's Guardian, and there's not a whole lot to fighting Guardian. His auto-block mechanic is very, very annoying. But as you'll see here, uh, Black Widow Clairvoyant can handle him no problem. Uh, I don't really want to deal with his special uh, two. So you saw how I held block and was just waiting. All right, and then I just pushed him all the way through, finished him off. You'll notice that I did not try firing any specials whatsoever. Uh, he tends to auto-block those, and it's not a pretty time. So I just fought him regular. And as you can see, the mini node was already done. Middle already cleared. Section 2 already opened. And I'm on to my next fight, which is Gladiator Hulk. So Gladiator Hulk... You just have to be careful. His special one can come out of nowhere, stun you, and you can get wrecked. Other than that, he's a pretty simple fight. Uh, you want to watch for that smash. That will catch you more often than not, if you're not careful. Uh, so you just watch for the icon under him after he does any of his attacks or specials. Okay, like right there. He didn't have the icon, so I knew I could punish it. Okay, no problem firing specials off here. All right, and so I'm just basically fighting him straight. And you see how uh, that smash text came up. You just have to be careful because if you attack into him when he has that up, you're going to get wrecked. And I've had it pop up even when I intercept him, which uh, caught me by surprise. I wasn't sure... Uh, what was going on there now the next fight is actually my last fight of this war uh, and it is nightcrawler now i consider nightcrawler to be a broken champion however he's broken in a way that made him more viable as a defender and kabam chose not to fix him now for a time it was easy to switch him because the AI reacted in a certain way when you fired a light attack after they dashed back, they would hold their block. 
it did not affect only Nightcrawler, but he benefited greatly from it. Um, or rather, we benefited greatly from it when we were fighting him. Because it was easy to switch him. And when they fixed that, they left him in the broken state he was in before that. All right. But anyway, so that is it for the fighting. Uh, I did not take the boss because someone else wanted to take the uh, boss. And they had pre-fight. They were all set up and ready. All right. So we're going to have a little brief intermission. And we'll be back with not just the war results, but the season results as well. And we're back. And as you can see, we won this war. So it was really nice to win the final war of the season. It's not going to affect our standing. Uh, we weren't going to go up uh, a rank or down a rank. But it's nice to win the final war of the season. And we did pretty good. You know, we had um, low deaths and our diversity was, you know, decently high. All right. So um, we did OK. You know, room for improvement, but we did OK in this war. Now, let's find out how we did for the season. Retribution. Well, let's see. And from the rewards, you might be able to already guess. However, let's move up here. And we got Platinum 4, rank 98. Whew. Okay. Um, we were pretty sure we were going to hit Platinum 4. I honestly would have been very upset if we had not gotten at least Platinum 4. All right. But these rewards are uh, very welcome. I'm going to have another opening uh, for these. I'm trying to save up to where I can open two six stars. And this brings me very, very close. As you see, I have 5,080. So that's going to bring me to about 17,500, um, uh, whatever. All right. So let me go to the um, season here. So Kenobi, Jedi Knights, rank one. We've got GT40, rank two, and New Nation at rank three. Okay. And we can uh, quickly take a look at these boards here. see some of the other um and i see some of the um alliances that we fought and they're up here and i'm not really i'm just showing you guys these uh so that you can see them here okay and then there we go okay so we're up there. We weren't in any danger of uh, dropping to gold level. Um, hopefully next war, uh, next season, we'll be able to do better and uh, hit Platinum 3. But uh, things have to change if we're going to do that. They definitely have to change. All right. Man. Okay, I'm not going to keep on uh, doing that and holding the video up. So that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Uh, feel free to hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Uh, let me know what you thought about the video. And you all have a blessed day.